Guys, we got some big old two inch thick ribeyes. We're gonna throw them on the wood fire grill. We're gonna reverse sear them. You guys don't wanna miss this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my backyard. Guys, this is a great day. It is steak day. We are reverse searing some big old, I think they're called cowboy cut, but big old ribeyes. I'm gonna show you how to reverse sear them. I've done this with some tomahawks. I've done this with uh, some tri-tip. This will give you a good idea on how to cook any of your steaks that you want to throw on there because a lot of the questions I get in my groups or in the comments are how to cook a steak on the wood fire grill. So I thought I'd just do it one more time on here. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm probably going to do it a lot more times. I love steak on my wood fire grill, so might as well film it, right? So anyway, usually what I do is dry brine my steaks overnight. That's where you salt them up on a rack over a, like a cookie sheet, put them in the refrigerator all overnight. That salt pulls out that moisture and then kind of draws back in that flavor. But I just got these steaks this morning. I want to get them on the grill. So we are going to do a little marinade, brine, whatever with some Uncle Steve's SPG. Now this is going to really give it a nice bark on there, a nice coating, tons of good flavor, salt, pepper, garlic, all you need for steak, right? Now we're gonna let that chill out for a little bit. Let it come up the temp on the counter here. We're not putting it back on the fridge. You know, it, the salt in that SPG is gonna help sweat it out. So we're just gonna let it set for a little bit and then, uh, you know, kind of absorb those flavors. And these are big old steaks. So we gave them a heavy duty coat of seasoning, okay? Don't be afraid to season your meat. Okay, that's a big deal. To make sure we don't mess up these steaks, we got our twin temp spikes in there, the Bluetooth wireless thermometer. I feel like it sound like an infomercial, but guys, I swear by these temp spikes, especially in that wood fire grill and the oven behind me here too, guys. It makes it foolproof, okay? I'm gonna take these steaks to 125 just using smoke. So we're gonna set the wood fire grill at 250 on the smoker setting. Just let it slowly come up the temp with that good smoke, right? And then we're gonna pull the steaks off, fire up that grill to that high grill setting. We're gonna sear off these bad boys, all right? Give them a nice crust on there. It's gonna be beautiful. So nothing left to do but get this wood fire fired up. We're gonna use a blend pellet today. It's Jack's by Jealous Devil, uh, but any food safe blend will work fine. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. Let's get it fired up. Come on down. Get those pellets in. Turn this to the smoker setting. I had it on cold smoke for uh, the smoke cream cheese video I did. So let's take this to 250. One hour's fine. It's not gonna take more than probably about a half hour, 45 minutes to come up the temp. We have our grill plate in there. Hit start, let it go through the ignition process. And oh yeah, guys, that smoke is rolling. Steak's about to go on. Let's go. Yeah, we're done with the ignition. Smoke is rolling. Let's get our steaks on. Getting a little heart shape pattern for all the lovers out there. Got our 10 spikes going. Just gonna shut it down. Let it do what it do. We'll see you in, uh, well, when it hits 125. Guys, we're up to temp on one of them right now. It's a little over uh, 125, and the other one's at like 120 and change. So good enough for me to pull them off, get that grill fired up. We want our steaks to finish up medium rare, and that's what's gonna happen when we uh, get that sear on. Gonna take them to about 135, especially when we let them rest for a little bit. Let's get them off, get that grill fired up, and let's go. This is exciting. All right, come on back. Okay, guys. Let's pull these off, get them set aside. Got the little tray onto the, the right over here. Shut this down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Just makes it easier. To turn it to the grill setting, it's on high. 15 minutes will be plenty, don't worry about that. We're just gonna sear off both sides for about a minute. Hit start, let it go through the preheat, and then we'll get these uh, steaks going. All right, y'all, we're up to temp on there. It's saying to add the food. So that is what we're gonna do. Get those steaks on there, Get that other one on. You give them a press. Make sure you got good contact. And that press. We'll give them about a minute. We'll adjust them. We'll uh, swing them this way. Get those crosshatch marks. And then we'll give them a flip. Give them a little half rotate. 
Make sure you got that contact. And guys, these are two gloves. I know I get questioned all the time. This is a cotton liner. These are black nitrile gloves. I'll have links down below to both. If you want to get them, you wear them in, you know, as protection. That's why I'm holding on to this like this. Time to give them another flip. That's some beautiful marks right there. Look at that. This one a flip. Gorgeous. Give them a press, make sure they're touching. That is some pretty looking stakes right there. Give them another rotate. Just make sure you're getting that good contact. All right. Another half a minute to a minute, and we'll pull these off. Time to get these bad boys off. Got those good cross hatch marks. We're gonna go ahead and take them inside, let them rest for about five, 10 minutes, and we'll slice into them inside. We're done. Got me a little bite right here. I mean, it's heaven. It's perfect. Dude, that salt, pepper, garlic on there is amazing. I was gonna finish this up inside while I was uh, doing the slicing of the steak, but Mr. CJ is working right now. And being that I'm a full-time creator, I have to kind of work around her schedule right now. So. We went ahead and did a little montage. You just saw me slicing it up, making it look pretty and all that. But we got a nice medium to medium rare. You know, I had to let it set for a little bit while I was getting everything ready for the shot and all that stuff. So it went a little bit higher than I wanted, but still pretty dang close to medium rare. Good, good flavor. All right, that uh, that salt, pepper, garlic, dude. That's that's where it's at with with any kind of beef. That stuff works out really well. Y'all, if you want to get one of these Ninja Wood Fire Grills, I'll put a link down below to Ninja Kitchen. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more to use, and it helps out your boy, helps out the channel. Uh, for the temp spikes, the twin temp spikes, the link down below. Again, affiliate link. My code gets you 30% off, I believe, which is a great deal. So check that out. Knives, cutting boards, merch, whatever, all down below, okay? If you want to become a show producer and really help out the channel, like all these people scrolling in front of me, people that got your boys back, people that really want to help out the channel, right? Become a show producer by hitting that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.